Hi hey everyone, welcome to ERA. This is Act 1 called Pilgrimage. Now, I don't really know much about this game. I know it's on Game Jolt, I know some other YouTubers have played it. But I wanted to try it off myself, just because it looks really cool, in my opinion. So let's get straight into it. Please note, the current ERA demo contains pre-alpha gameplay. So this is Act 1, which is called Pilgrimage. So hopefully it'll be good. Now, I don't know what it's about either. I just know uh, I need to do voices. The smell of rocket fuel hangs in the air, even this far outside of town. The year is 1932 and summer fades over the land surrounding pilgrimage as launch day fast approaches. Anticipation fills the air and the world's gaze is drawn into the tiny town as the final train makes their way into the station. Good evening. You're listening to Pilgrimage News Radio, where the words are as true as they are fresh. I'm Cuddy Copper, and I'll be your host tonight. The town is a buzz for the launch of the Holocene only weeks away, and the Pilgrimage will once again be thrust That looks the really nice. Earth's first interstellar vessel will depart from the Pilgrimage okay? Center, traversing the void of interstellar space in order to explore the mysteries of the lithic system. Don't forget to pick up your viewing tickets for the launch. There may be a few left if you have the pocketbook. <clears throat> In other news, the Martian mining season is once again upon us, and many listeners have noticed the influx of seasonal workers in town. Keep in mind that the world is watching, so please, let's all be on our best behavior, and save the hooliganism and rabble-rousing for the mines. We don't need any incidents in That looks really pretty. Like, the graphics for this are going to be quite minimal, but they're going to be really nice in their own way, by the looks of it. Banjo player. Well, looks like it's just you and me rather than the rest of the land, pal. No, I'll be hopping. Oh, I get to choose. Uh, why? What's the next town? Next up, the line is Pilgrimage, the last town for 50 miles. Types like you and me ought to be steering clear of about of there about now. Uh, what's so wrong with it? Well, you're not going to find any work there, that's for sure. Not unless you plan on hauling it up to Mars. Intelay co-owns that town between the miners headed for Mars. Mars? 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 I didn't get to read that. Doesn't seem like the kind of place I'd like to get caught up. The last, the last ride to Mars leaves as soon, so miners are crawling all over that town. I know work's scarce, but damn. What's up, guys? Scarce here. Be desperate enough to sell your soul to Intel Co. and go mine in the red sand? Poor bastards. Nobody will even notice them though. Everybody's got their eye on the hollow hol scene. All those rich folk headed into town for launch day. Intel A. Co. will be sure to keep types like us out of the way. So I'll just profit for Intel A. Co. They don't care who has to suffer to make a buck. Buckaroo! This is a really good game so far. It's very loud. Pilgrimage, gateway to the stars. Gateway to nothing if you ask me. The whole thing's a sham. Folks there are as poor as anywhere else. It's not a, it's all a show. If you're living in that town, then it's like, oh, good as on you. Nope, there's nothing for us there in Pilgrimage. That town is a dead end. Wow, okay. So, from that we can gather Pilgrimage is a bad place to go, but a good place at the same time. I think. Oh, are we, are we back at this house? This is the one that was near the train track, I think? No, that's nowhere near it by the looks. I'm not sure. Still miles from town, a tiny farmhouse sits alone amongst the fields, a place a young boy named Ira calls home. Ah. Uh. Oh, Ira. Hi there. I didn't hear you come in. Hello. So, that's Ira. Join now. I'm guessing that's the thing to Mars. I'm just finishing up the car here. Did you need something? Uh, Mum told me to come out and ask if you need anything. Is there anything I could do? I'm going to say Mum told me. Oh, I see. Sure, I could always use an extra hand. Just trying to get the car back and running before I run out of time here. 
Before I leave, I mean. I can't leave you and your mother here all winter with the car breaking down every couple of miles. Aren't you excited to go to Mars again? When are you leaving? Or do the aren't you excited? Well, no. It's not like that era. It's hard work and just feels very far from home. It isn't nearly as glamorous as all the Holocene business going on. I know you're interested in all that, but... All the, oh, I didn't read that, but mining on Mars is just work. At least the car will be in good shape before I go. Could you bring me that wrench from the from above the workbench? So, that. Okay, so now I can move. That's cool. That. Okay. Can I... Here you go, Dad. There you go. What is wrong with his eyes? That is a wrench, yes, son. Thank you. Just a few turns here. Can you need anything else, dude? Alright, now I just need the fuel line to replace this one here. I think there's one in the barn. Could you run out to see if you can find it? Uh, yes, I can do that. I, I'll go outside and into the darkness by the looks of it. There's something wrong with me. Night air was crisp, a cool wind moving in from the north. Catching up the last summer's warmth. Now, do you reckon it's this way? No, it's not going to be that way. I can tell that already. Because that was the gate to leave by the looks of it. Alright, so, if we keep going this way. Now, I like how this game works already. It's more of a point and click thing, by the looks of it, which I really like. This is the barn. Okay, there we go. The graphics are quite nice in their own way. The darkness in the barn is thick, but moonbeams through the cracks give just enough light to illuminate a few boxes tucked in the corner. Something shifts in the upper loft, but it's out of view and concealed by shadows. So that just, uh, call up to the loft, climb to the loft, let's call up. Is there an elephant? Here his voice is swallowed up by the darkness, there is no response. Let's just search the boxes. My scurry out as Ira feels around in the boxes, he tosses aside oil, old oil soaked rags and his fingers quickly find the soft rubber hose. Ira tugs firmly, but is lodged between some rusted bits of junk and won't come free. He pulls again, harder this time, but the hose is lodged tightly. With one final heave, the hose comes free, but knocks the box to the ground and sends it sends its contents bouncing into the darkness. Ira's fist tightly closed around the hose, his hand flies upward with force, bumping an old radio concealed by the shadows on the wall, jostling it to life. Ira looks around the darkness of the barn and is overcome with a feeling of unwelcomeness. He hurries out the door, hose in hand. Wow, okay. Dad, Dad, I got the hose. Dad, I got the hose. You want the hose? Nice hose. Now, like I was saying, the graphics for this already look really nice in their own way. And obviously, it is only in pre-alpha, so it's got some things going to have to be improved, obviously. So, so far, though, this is a really nice game. Hey, Dad. I got it. I think this is what you wanted. Ah, this damn thing. What? Oh, the hose, right. Hang on a second. The damn threads are stripped again. Cheap interlaco trash. They make this garbage to last about a month, I swear. Biggest company in the world, so the bastards think they can do whatever the hell they want. Join now. Stand tall. Stand together. Martin... Martian Mining Union. They send us off to sweat and bleed on Mars for the next nothing. For next to nothing. Bad as things now. Before the Union, we'd have to have a death every day. Still, most of us can barely afford to buy gear that isn't about to fall apart. Can you believe that? We mine them up on that godforsaken planet and we have to buy our own gear. It's a miracle we don't die up there. But still, lots of us do. Oh, this is a really sweet thing to, like, show. A lot of good men don't come back. There are too many windows in this town- Widows in this town because of that damn company. I almost said windows. Son of a bitch. This has all gone to hell now. It's not so bad. At least you're working, right? Are you upset because mum is getting sicker? Oh. Let's ask that. He, he just- I- Well, I can't. It's fine, Nero. Everything's going to be fine. I just can't think about that. Not right now. We're going to be alright, all of us. 
Why don't you head in? Your mother might need a hand for dinner. And I think they're doing a special about the Holocene tonight on TV. You don't want to miss that, right? Go on inside, Hera. They need to spend some more time out here getting this back together. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to upset you. No, it's not like that, Hera. It's not you at all, it's just everything else. I love you, son. I'll see you inside in a bit, okay? Can I, can I keep talking to him? Is it possible to do that? Thanks, Hera. That's all the help I need for now. Why don't you go ask your mother if she needs anything? I'll see you inside for dinner. Just quickly look around and... Red dust still coats the mining gear after a summer in the storage. Soon it will be a, word of, a world away. The only thing between Ira's father and the harsh mar Martian cold. Alright, let's go inside. Wow. This is a intense, intense story game so far. But it's really nice and really cool. And really good. I was gonna... Hello? Ira? Oh, 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 I, di I didn't know you were asleep. That's alright, Ira. Not quite sleeping, just tired. I was going to watch that special on the Holocene with you, remember? I just... Give me a few minutes, I need to wake myself up. Is everything okay? Of course, everything is fine, Ira. It's just been a hard week with your father getting ready to leave and all. It's nothing for you to worry about. Why did you go watch your special? You can tell us all about, all about it at dinner. Oh, I never did start cooking dinner cooking. Could you go and do that for me? All you have to do is put the pot on the stove. Everything is made. After you do that, you can go get your father so we can all eat. Okay, I'll put on and, and go get Dad. That would be lovely. Thank you, Ira. I'll see you out there soon. I love you. Well, this is really sad. You can see his mum's dying. By the looks of it. Alright. Is the kitchen over here? Attic? I don't want the attic, I don't think. Alright, I want to go in the kitchen. Okay, in the kitchen. And then... We want to put the stew... On the stove. Yes? Okay, he's gonna do it for us. Okay. Now I've got supper cooking, I should go get Dad from the garage. Oh, I clicked on that by mistake. The medical term terminology was too foreign for Ira to make any sense of, but he could read his parents' faces when they returned from the doctor with these scraps of paper. The words were meaningless. The only option was to wait. Music's changed. So something seems to have happened. I don't want to go out that door. I don't want to look in the attic, to be honest. What? What? Mum? She's not in there. What? The sound of water floods the senses, washing away an old reality, leaving behind only the shell of Ira's former life. What? Memories ring out like echoes, fading in slow processions of years gone by. Past decays and the future remains unseen. Time pressing forward blindly, unaware of its mortal passengers. The flow of hours turning into decades carries Ira down its twisting streams. Oh no, that's really sad. It carries his father to distant Martian mines. Tharsis Fields in Slaco? So, it sweeps up his mother, his home and his bearing. And it carries Ira to place says he has never known. Oh, that's really sad. 
It refines what feels like stability. Washing ashore on the uh, rigidness of the moment, lost and alone. But a voice rises from within it. It draws him back into the house like a sign of hope through the murkiness of his reality. Oh, I wanted to go and have a look around this uh, garage quickly. So, Ira's dad's gone to Mars. And Ira's mum, I'm guessing, has died. The call grows louder, guiding Ira through this tomb of a home. Oh, Is he moving? No. I haven't gone upstairs yet, so I'm going to go upstairs. The inner voice is clear now. It draws Ira up the stairs, promising escape. Please don't be a noose. Feeling a feeling comes with the attic stale air, but it is fleeting. Maybe this is Ira's room. Let's turn that radio off, because Jesus Christ. Maybe it's communication? Distant voice rises through the radio static. It's tone familiar, but the words are too muffled to make out. Sound is barely audible, but Ira finds comfort in the noise beneath the static. Closing his eyes, Ira focused on the voice. Words reveal themselves. How can we know where we have been? Uh, only by looking backwards. It is where we have, where we have all come from. That is much true. But but knowing what has been is not knowing at all. True? Do you know where you will be? Nothing is certain, no way is set. There is only one path. I can go where I've been before. I'll go to the top one. The perspective is flawed, but you must know that. You wouldn't have come otherwise. You couldn't have come. Do you know where you are? No, not really. Of course you couldn't know, could you? Not in this way. Wake up. Wake up? Hello? What? Hello? My on Mars? Time travel? What? His mind slips through the years, escaping time, caught up in the void. This is really good graphics. But the mind emerges, calling back, called back into the slow march of time after years of suspension. Oh! Ira's head throbs with pain. He can barely focus on a single thought. The room is familiar, but it's distant memory. His mind isn't able to recall why he knows his place, or when he has been here. So... Are we on Mars? Central Terminal. Initializing power up sequence. Errors 29323402. I might need to remember that. Attempting bypass a faulty system. Method failed. Please contact Administrator. Hello, that is me. Nilfi's power returns a crack of switch from above. Life returning to the terminal's dusty speaker. A voice emerges through the static. These rats again. Destroying my ship. Back, Berman. Flee from the sound of my voice. Can I? I just repaired this unit to a miserable riddance. Although this is the first time the rats have powered up any systems, that is fascinating. Computer log. Record on event on arrival to the Lysnik. Lysnik. System plus 1082. Rats have trans transitioned. From the wire train to attempts at utilizing system systems. Motivation unknown. Uh, hello? Where am I? What is happening? Who are you? Can you help me? I'll do the second one. Is there someone down there? You're not a rat at all. The ship's logs say that all the status pods gave out two years ago. It's a miracle the crew is not dead. Please excuse my informality. Allow me to introduce myself. This is our acting captain. Assumed commander of the Hellasin 2, the master of this vessel. It's good to have you in my service. It's good to have anyone in my service, actually. We're on a ship. How can I get out of here? How can I get out of here? Slow down now. Attempt to remain calm, crewman. 
You'll probably say if there's no need to panic. You may be experiencing side effects from status. Are you feeling ill? How would you describe your current condition? I feel like I've been hit by a truck. I'm fine. Can you help me out of here or no? I feel like I've been hit by a truck. Hmm. I don't think I have any records of the sensation of being hit by a truck. But it is good to know that you are holding on to memories of Earth. Nostalgia is a powerful and... And it's I can't say that. We'll keep a close monitor on your status. Please feel free to report any feelings of nausea, increased heart rate, hallucinations, or the sensation of death. Given our situation, I'm clearing you out for duty. Congratulations. You have some catching up to do, especially after the incident, but I'm sure you'll ri rise to the occasion. What incident? Ah, yes. Day on arrival to the lith lithic system. The ship's automated system were compromised. The system is flooded with electromagnetic interference, which wrecked havoc on the electrical grid. By the time I assumed the role of captain, the status chambers had uh, succumbed to the surge. The ship was saved. I took control of navigation manually just in time, too. Our mission shall continue, though we may be delayed by the inconvenience mass loss of life among the crew. But you're here now. You are undoubtedly in a state of great confusion. Allow me to, uh, reacquaint you with the Holocene, too. As you can see, status pods will not be in a short supply. Yes. Yes, I can see that perfectly well. That's making my mouth really sweaty. Though, their occupants will need removal. That one seems to be broken. Ignore that. I can't imagine that this will be a pleasant task. But I won't make you do it, young boy. At least we'll be making good use of the airlock. Welcome to the greenhouse level, where your stress will meet, melt away as you watch the fruits of your labour and grow. Proper gut. Speaking of which, you've been promoted to head bot uh, bot botanist. What will the recent loss of your entire biology department? Congratulations. Don't be intimidated by the state of the place. I trust that you'll be able to get things in good order in no time. I would suggest making it a priority, though. Most of the food stores were vented into space four weeks ago. We're in the, the Lithnik system. Are you saying that everyone on the ship is dead? Yes! <laughs> that makes me feel fucking brilliant. Moving along! Yes? So, this is actually a really intriguing storyline so far. Welcome to the laboratory level. Science. This is research vessel, after all. State-of-the-art equipment should make light work of uncovering the many secrets of the lithic system. I can't seem to locate your scientific background in your life, but no matter. Take some time to familiarize yourself with the lab. Make yourself comfortable and uh, you should be ready to assume the position of head researcher. Again, congratulations, though I mu really must insist that you don't touch the particle accelerator. Uh, Ex accelerator before reading the manual. Even though saying, even then, please don't touch the particle accelerator. Why are you showing this to me? Mm -hmm. Don't worry about the taking it in all at once. I have several volumes of system manuals everywhere, somewhere. You'll get there eventually. To the next level! This is a really intriguing storyline so far. Um, the game. It's got a really good way of showing everything. Ah, my pride and joy, the heart of the ship, the engine's core. At my disposal, here is the power to bridge the stars, to travel vast distances at great speed, to conquer the expanses. The power would corrupt the mind of a... of a... lesser captain. But I assure you, you're in good hands. Just look at it. Take it, saw. Striking potential. This is actually several pay grades above your clearance level. Why am I allowing you to see this? As your captain, I order you to erase your memories of this place. Do you even know what you're saying? Of course. Of course. I don't know what to do. Just like, like, keep going that voice, or keep doing this voice. Our journey is nearing its end. You're about to enter the upper deck of the Holocene too. Welcome. Is this going to be the dude? This is the 1,082nd day in orbit of Herms, on the outer rim of the Lithic system. This is our designated, uh, Rend Rendezvous? 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 Point? 
Protocol dictates we await docking instruction from the crew on the surface, which is yet to arrive. Uh, am I the only one alive on this ship, or what are you? Am I the only one alive? Well, in a matter of uh, speaking, yes, I'm not per se alive, but I'm still your captain. I expect to be treated as such. What I am is the Z120 automatic control system for the Holocene 2. Uh, you're just a computer? You're not the captain, you're not even a person. Go with the computer. Well, yes, that is true. But I am fully capable of fulfilling my duties, despite my limited physical form. Besides, crewman with you, here, the manifest has doubled. Now our mission is uh, sure to succeed. Okay, so I can now walk around. I think that's the only thing I can actually do, so... I'll go to this. This is a really good game though, I'm like, I'm really enjoying this and I hope when it all comes out, like for reals, I want to play all of it. I realise you're curious, but please, try not to break anything. I'll try not to. He's actually got eyes now! Loading console! Uh, communications. Let's have a look at that. In the static a sound emerges, a sound that was still ringing in the back of his mind. It flows through Ira's body. That interface has been flooding all the sound of radio channels since we arrived. It's made uh, maintaining ship control something of a challenge. The worst part has been maintaining a stateable orbit. Our sensors required radical adjustments to make any sense of navigation's uh, redo redoes. It also may be what killed us. Why do I know this sound? I heard this sound in a dream just before I was revived. Why do I know this sound? You must be mistaken. It's quite impossible for you to have heard this sound. It's localized to the Lithnic system. And you only just awoke from the status. Stasis. Perhaps you're not hearing the signal clearly. Allow me to amplify the receiver. The interface has caused another power surge. Life support has gone critical. You need to evacuate. The landcraft were through the starboard hatch. There's one lander uh, reading as functional. I should be able to access it. Don't waste your time. Run. I'm accessing the door's controls, almost there. The door is open, run! Go dude, go! Did you, did you make it? The system's interface is blocking planetary, planet, planetary transmissions. I'm scanning the surface for signs of settlements. We're descending too fast, we need to decrease our speed. Brace for impact! And that's how we all died. Da 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 da. So. We crash landed on this planet, which is the Lithic system. This game is so good! What's that? Act 1, Pilgrimage. Is that the end? Don't say that's the end. Is that the end? Era. I think that's the end. Oh, that was so good. Oh, that was so good. I just opened it in my browser. I really liked that game, guys. I'm not even kidding. Like, the way it worked, it was brilliant. I, it had a really nice storyline to it. And it really intrigued me. So hopefully it intrigued you guys as well. I really hope you guys actually help support this if you can. Because this is probably one of the best games I've played in a long time. I'm not even kidding when I say that. So, I think that's all i got time for then, for this episode. So thank you guys for watching this. If you enjoyed, a like is really appreciated. If you want to subscribe, hopefully we can get to 1820 soon. I don't know, I want to try and get 2k before the end of this year, but it might be possible, it might not. I'm not sure. If you guys enjoyed this though, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.